Hey guys, Tom from Software Junkie here. And in this little video today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to compare how many days are between two dates, okay? So in this test setup that I've got here, Google Sheets is one of my favorite things, by the way. I love working with formulas and playing around with stuff and just getting stuff to display. And this one little function is super easy, okay? So here we've got date one and date two. We've got uh, the 20th of May, 2022. It's not even, I think it's the 1st of May today as I'm filming this. Uh, and then we've got the 27th of May, 2022, okay? So clearly between the 20th and the 27th, there is seven days. So we want this to compare how many days uh, in between. And the way we do that is we go equals, and then we're gonna say days, and then we're gonna put a bracket, and then we're gonna select our days. Now, what you have to do here is you always have to select your second date first and compare that with the first date. If you do it the other way around, you'll get a negative result, okay? so. Just for an example, let's do it the other way around to get the negative result, and I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to go the 20th of May compared with the 27th, and then we're going to hit enter, enter to bracket that off. See how it says minus 7? It's because it's comparing um, the first date to the second date, but really you want to compare the second date to the first date because we're trying to get a lapse of time between the days um, that have already passed, okay? So... Just to edit that, we'll go back to where we've put in equals days bracket, and then we're going to go date two compared with date one, enter, and there you go. So now it says seven days between. So what could happen, it, the, an instance where you could use this, right, if you were like an e-commerce brand or something, and you had a date where somebody signed up to your emailing list, so you might go like signed up, Wait, hang on. Signed up to email list. Um, you know, that might be the first date that you saw them. And then the second day you they purchased something. So made purchase. And then you could put this number as days to purchase. And then if you wanted, you could get a list of all your customers. Um, in a spreadsheet. So you could have their name and email in here as well. I left emails out of this today because you can't really put emails um, on show in public. So I left them off. But if let's say you had your customer list, you had the date they signed up, the date they made a purchase, using a formula like this would be a really good use case to have a look at the average amount of days it's taking people to purchase. Okay, so yeah, that's a it's a really handy little thing. If you want to do if you did have a whole column, right? So let's say that we let's just, for example, we've got all these dates now, but we want to work out the days between for all of them, we could come up here and we could go all right, so we're comparing just those two cells right now, but we want to compare the whole column. So what we would do is we'd minus out back to days bracket B, and then we're going to pretty much actually get rid of that whole thing. And what you wanna do is press command and select your whole column. So see how it's comparing all of B and then command all of A. So it's now comparing everything that's in that entire column and we hit enter. Now you'll see that it's still only doing it for the one cell. That's because this formula isn't actually in any of these cells yet. So the way that we do that to get it going all the way down in this column is we select all of column C, we'll then deselect the header. So in this case, it's days between, and we're going to go command, enter, and see how it puts the formula in the whole section. That's how we get the numbers. And then if we want to, you know, come in and add more customers or more dates, we just simply go down like that. And the formula, because we injected it into the whole column is now going to count automatically for you. So yeah, it's a pretty nifty little thing. Um, if you found this little setup uh, helpful, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you want more Google Sheets tutorials, just hit subscribe. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.